I think that people underestimate what kinds of records are available. Birth, marriage, and death certificates, census records, Civil War draft records, church records that go all the way back into the 1600s. A genealogist is someone who researches people's family history. The reason I ended up investigating fraudulent memoirs is because I looked for a case that would demonstrate modern genealogical methods for the purposes of something that has legal implications. I actually selected the DeFonseca case because it was a high profile case. Misha DeFonseca told a story of being a hidden child in World War II, a Jewish child who had to be hidden to protect her from the Nazis. But she also said that she was nurtured by wolves that she actually lived with wolves, not once, but twice during her travels. It was a very compelling story. Disney took an option on a film, and Oprah was interested in the story, but there were many inconsistencies in the story, and we didn't know who the people really were. Everyone leaves a trail of records in their life. We didn't set out to prove that Dee Fonseca was not telling the truth, we set out to find out who she really was and who her parents were. She gave first names for her purported Jewish parents. That couple, as she described them, did not appear in the database of Belgian Jews deported to Auschwitz. That was an inconsistency. The other thing that we used is photograph analysis. In the original U.S. publication for Misha's story, there was a whole section of photographs photographs that were taken out of the French book. Why did she do that? Here are pictures of the people that she said were her foster grandparents. I had also done a timeline of photographs of Misha at various ages. And one of the things that we noticed was there was a resemblance, a profile of resemblance between Misha and this woman who was supposed to be her foster grandmother. And we said, what if this is her real grandmother? Which in fact turned out to be true. This was her real family. We solved it in one month. Her story was not true and it was um, something that was deceiving the public. These kinds of frauds, they're very personal. Real Holocaust survivors who were telling their real stories really were offended by the fact that this fairy tale was getting so much press because it wasn't true. If you romanticize something that's so devastating as the Holocaust, then it really minimizes the real stories.